You're super excited, you're taking it outside whenever you get an opportunity, and you're learning how to use it, but you notice over time that your fall is getting old, frayed, and ratty. Well, don't you fear, because I'm gonna show you how to replace your fall in under four minutes. Let's get started. Step one, gather your tools. You're going to need a lighter, preferably a Zippo, more preferably a butane lighter. You're going to need a fid or an ice pick, but a fine tip screwdriver will work in a pinch. You're gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of scissors, any size will do. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll show you how to replace your fall in a different way, this time using a lacing needle. Then we'll grab our whip and our new fall and we'll move on to step two. Separate the fall from the hitch, but not all the way. In order to do this, the first thing we need to do is identify the fall. So we have our hitch here, and the fall is this piece that goes around, and you got your crack attached to it. And as you can see on this new fall, there's a loop here. So this fall also has that loop, and that loop is right here. You see that? It's not a part of the hitch, it's the fall. So to separate it, we'll take our fid, and we're going to go from side to side and just very slowly wiggle it back. We're gonna pull it back. We're not gonna pull it that way, we're gonna pull it this way. And this just takes some time. You just gotta go back and forth and really kind of wiggle it free. Boom. And once you got it out a little bit like this, to the point where you can get your fid all the way through there, kind of like that, you're gonna take your needle nose pliers and you're gonna stick them in there and you're going to twist. And it comes out very easily. Here, I'll show you this way. So you stick them in, stick them in, you grab it, and you twist. Stick them in, grab it, and you twist. Now don't pull it all the way out right now. You just wanna get it out a couple of inches. And then we'll move on to step three. Connect the old fall to the new fall. So now that we've got it out a couple inches and it kinda of looks like that, we're gonna take our new fall and we're going to loop it around onto the whip. So we'll do that by starting at the very end here and we'll just pull it through. We'll open up this uh, loop a little bit so that there's plenty of room to work with. We're gonna go through all these knots, or through the hitch rather, down over the hitch, and then down past the old fall. And then, we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to trim the old fall. Be sure not to cut anything important. We're going to be going for the old fall here. So, snip. All right, and then this piece can be discarded. Okay. We're going to take our new fall, and if it's hard like this, you can see there that it's already burnt, you can trim the tip of that to reveal some fresh nylon because we are going to singe these together. And to do that, we need to grab our lighter. We're gonna get that going. That's one nice thing about a Zippo. You can kind of set it down. And then we are going to singe these together. So we're going to melt the two sides and while I'm doing this, I'll tell you, <clears throat> so we're going to singe these two sides. All right, so really get them connected here. We're going to kind of meld them into one. And while it, once it cools, you can take a gloved hand, don't do it like stupid like me and hurt yourself, but I have burnt fingers so I can do this. And then you really combine them together and then you just melt it a little bit more 
and you roll it. You, again, do this with a gloved hand. Now that we've got these connected, we're gonna move on to step four. Pull the new fall all the way through. So we're just gonna snag our old fall here and we're going to very slowly but firmly pull the new fall through. And there you have it. Pull it all the way through and get this, this loop here over the uh, final hitch, the final part of the hitch, which is kind of a decorative thing. And then you pull, lock that in place and get it on there nice and tight. And there you have it. Your new fall is attached. Now you just trim away the old fall from the new fall and then re-singe that so that it doesn't fray on you. Afray you! <laughs> there you have it. Your new fall. Oh, isn't that better? Now that you've got a fresh fall on, I hope you're back outside having a good time with your whip. I hope this video was helpful and as always, happy cracking. Stick around for some bonus material. So we're just gonna go through here. We're just gonna pull it through slowly, firmly. You do not want that bond to break, especially on these different colored nylon. Really doesn't like to cooperate. All right, so you saw it break inside here. What do you do now? All right, I'll show you. You're gonna very carefully pull it back out, keeping this channel intact as much as possible, so don't disturb the hitch. Pull it back and get it out. All right, so you got it out now. Now, you're gonna cut this at an angle, and you're gonna re-singe it, and you're gonna singe it to a point. And you really wanna roll it here and make sure that it's nice and thin. Now, we're gonna take our lacing needle. I don't know if you can see it here, but the back of the lacing needle is threaded. So you'll take the tip that we've just cut to a point and we're going to lace it onto the lacing needle. Stick it in there and we're going to twist it, kind of pushing it in and then those threads bite onto the burnt nylon, the hard part, and then you get a nice firm connection. And then you're gonna find that channel that the old fall was in and you're gonna take the lacing needle and you're gonna go through, you're gonna lead the fall through that channel, just like that. See how easy it is? Boom, and you just pull it. And there you have it. And then you pull it through, make sure it's over the old, over this piece here. Over that. And then you pull it through. Boom. And that's how you do it with a lacing needle.